Hey, hey, it's CDA and welcome back to Empires of the Undergrowth. Today I want to do a gateway mission, which is actually a type of mission where you take your whole ant farm that you've been collecting or building between the levels and all the food that you gain at the end of a level is actually deposited over here. So you can see there's a ton of food sitting here. And what you can do is you can actually start building up your, your own army basically and then do a special mission. Now in order to do that, I have already done a lot of prep work. So we have... A couple of these larger leaf cutter ants. These are things are actually ginormous, as you can see. These are basically tanks. They're walking tanks. And we also have some of the ranged units that you saw in the previous episode, along with some basic soldier ants. Now, what I'm going to do, probably, I think. Yeah, I am actually going to cut out small sections and make kind of like dedicated squads to do certain things. Because I think it's going to be very useful to be able to kind of split up our army if we want. And the problem with having one of these larger zones is that you can't actually do that. All the ants go to the same place and you can't split them up in any way, shape or form. So I'm going to do some more leaf cutters over here, some more of these warrior ants over here, and then some more arranged units over here. Oh, I'm actually at the maximum population. Ah, well. Then I'm not going to be doing that, I guess, after all. I can upgrade my army a little bit, perhaps. Uh, let's see. So I can actually upgrade some of my units over here still. I've already been doing quite a bit of upgrading. But, um, yeah. wasn't actually expecting that. But apparently you can't build ants unlimitedly. So we're going to have to do with what we have. But I think we should be just fine by doing exactly that. We do have quite a bit of food storage over here. So we have a little bit of backup food and then we're going to be preparing because what will happen in this gateway mission, this door will open, basically the map size will double and we're going to be pitched against an entire end farm that we are going to have to defeat. And this is why we also need a lot of food because of course fighting will cost us a lot of units and actually the scientists are going to be nasty as well <laughs> if the previous missions were any guide. So there's going to be random things happening which is also why it's really convenient. So let's see, we might be able to just have some ants on defense. Let's see. Okay, so here's the plan. I am actually going to have a small group of these units. Um, well, it's actually seven leaf cutter ants, so these are huge, along with some of the more normal soldier. Um, stay back and defend my home because I do think we might be attacked from the back a little bit here and there and then the rest is just going to charge in and they're actually going to gather up right in front of here so we are ready to go when we, once we start the mission so this is possibly the final experiment we already know it's not because there's more missions to come um, we do get a sizable amount of stuff for completing this mission as well so that's nice but let's find out if we can actually make it I'm afraid we've ran out of time. It doesn't matter if the nest isn't perfect. Run the experiment, then clear out the specimens and bleach the equipment. Yes, yes, I know. I'm doing it. And when you are finished here, I think we should have a word about your conduct around the laboratory. I think we should have a word about your conduct around the laboratory. What was that? Nothing, nothing. It's starting the experiment. Good. Let me know when you have a result. Okay, my little ants. This is it. The winner will have the privilege of joining me for the ultimate test, the real final experiment. The loser will be relegated to the waste disposal. The former carriums are connected. Let the war commence! So, let's see. We have this glass tube over here. We have some other ants I over here. Which colony will strike first? Actually curious to see if they will come to me because if they do, it's a lot easier to actually defeat an incoming stream of ants than just charge in here and try to take them over that way. What we could actually do, uh, try to lure them. Does that work? Let's say they are not allowed to fight, but we're just going to send them in. Oh, 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 there we go, there we go. The Oreptus finally meet. Interesting combinations. I wonder which is more effective. 
Here we go. And as you can see, I'm already fighting this half of their group, mm -hmm. with the other half Most just coming in. Most raptors are fighting very far from their nest. I wonder, what would happen if their queen was threatened? Yes, these mole crickets should reveal the relevant behaviors. Yeah, there we go. We're going to be attacked from behind by mole crickets. There we go. Go and kill those. You guys retreat for a moment because I do want you to fight under here because I have a feeling that the guy is going to be nasty if we don't. What type of ants are these? I want these, but we don't have them yet. So basically this is turning into a war of attrition because the ants of the enemy are actually respawning. So we basically are just farming them until they run out of resources. As you can see, my resources are dropping down lowish as well. So that is something to take into account, but there's nothing we can actually do about that for the moment. They're actually retreating. That's interesting. I think they figured out that <laughs> their approach was not really working like intended. Charge! The great battle has disturbed the praying mantis. <laughs> oh, jeez. Did they get a couple of those as well? No, 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 just me. That's, uh, that's, that's just great. Let's have my back defense help out here as well. There we go. Okay, so it looks like we've actually been able to take care of most of them now. This is where we go downstairs. Maybe not with everyone, actually. So hold on, hold on. Let me just send in these. This is no time to retreat underground. <sighs> Perhaps our raptors can be coaxed back out with a few row beetles. Oh, we're attack being attacked again from the back. Our raptors are beating back the counterparts. Victory seems within their grasp. But what's this? Could it be the almighty hand of God? <laughs> Okay, so let's go attack <laughs> their workers. Once we get their queen at 75%, I was trying to say, yes, good all the ants will respawn once. That only happens once, but as you can see, that is not where we want to be. So this is where we just retreat and we just reposition again above ground and farm them once again. Hopefully they will just be attacking us. We can once again clear them out and then clean them up in the second wave. Oh, there are seeds there now. We can't have that. Well, <laughs> they're gone already. <laughs> so, yeah. We might just need to uh, go and push through now. Because otherwise we are going to be running out of uh, food, and that is not a good thing. Quickly, my little raptors. You wouldn't want to be caught by the finger of death. <laughs> oh, oh no. Look at all those ants being killed. <laughs> ha! Well, that too just took out my remaining uh, food supply, so hopefully we'll have enough to push through now. However, assuming there's no more Excellent new and spawning, we should be fine. Strike at your nemesis. There can be only one. The workers are trying to fend me off, not with too much success. Rush their nest. The queen actually did repair itself. But there it is. Poof. <laughs> Perfect. I knew my raptors would prevail. Now we can prepare for the real... Have you finished yet? Uh, yes, uh, our raptors have dominated the Forbicarium. Wonderful. I expect a full report by the end of the week. For now, you can start by clearing away. Make sure anything contaminated with that jelly goes straight to the incinerator. Yes, yes, very good. So, yeah. I'm actually wondering what happens now. Do we get a new home base or do we continue with the one we have? Well, we did get a lot of food. And we actually get some options now to spawn random bugs and stuff like that to test out the army we have. However, um, we also get this option now to rehouse the colony, which is what we're going to be doing. 
because, well, you actually uh, can't do any more missions. You can't do these missions until you actually do rehouse the colony. So let's go for that. This tank is not suitable for the upcoming test. It's time to rehouse the colony. You will be awarded an amount of jelly during the switch based on the colony size construction, stored resources and territory. Well, there we go. That's a lot of food that we now have stored up. So let's see what other rewards are for rehousing the colony. Short-sighted, simple, churlish fools. They don't understand. None of them understand. The experiment must proceed. There isn't much time. Quickly, my Rictus, into the terrarium. You'll be safe here. Well, we got almost a thousand royal jelly for rehousing the colony. So that should be enough, I think, to get all the different upgrades that we still have remaining. The real question is, what will our new house look like? Is it done? Yes, yes. Look. Gone. I see. Well, good. It's about time. Anyway, I'm going to need you to make yourself available this afternoon. Apparently, a large quantity of unrefined jelly has gone missing from the overflow vessel, and Supply wants to speak with the whole group about proper checkout procedures. You wouldn't happen to know anything about it, would you? What? No! What would I want with unrefined jelly? Well, quite. What would I want indeed? <laughs> Well, he just gave the, the jelly to us. There's no food here, so we'll have to do some more levels. The, uh, the new area is really interesting. Feels like we're going to be attacked from all different sides by different types of ants or creatures. I don't know, it's probably going to be bad. Um, but yeah, for now, we'll just have to play some more levels because, well, we need some more food to start rebuilding our base. So I hope you enjoyed a look at a different type of level this time around. Remember, next time we're going to be playing with leaf ants, which are really interesting. They have a bit of a different dynamic going on. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you're still here, you're awesome. And I do hope to catch you in the next one.